Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to explain how I wire a five pin rocker switch to a four pin relay. I use this to power accessories such as a light bar, spotlight, a 12 volt cigarette plug, and similar type accessories. I'm just gonna explain how I do it. Full disclosure, I'm not an electrician. Do not take this as professional instruction. This is just me telling you the way I understand how it works. There may be other ways, but this is how I do it and it works for me. So what I have in front of us is I have a five pin rocker switch. Now I'll go into more detail on the rocker switch pins and what they do. I have a four pin relay. I want to point out, it may be hard to see, but the relay pins are numbered 30, 85, 87, and 86. And I'll go into detail on what those pins do. This particular relay has a fuse in it. So that eliminates the need for an inline fuse. And that's the relay style I use. And then I have an accessory. Today I'm just going to show you how a spotlight lights up. So I've written all this down and I have it um, set up to where I'm going to just show you how it's done on paper and then we'll go through a live demonstration. So let me set some things up. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I have in front of us is just the instructions, how I understand it, and a relay. So the relay has four pins on it and I'll explain what the four pins do down here. It's uh, 30, 85, 87, and 86. If you look at the relay itself, those numbers are stamped on here. They're a little difficult to see. 30 is up here, 85. Down here is 87 and then 86. And the other thing to note is the relay can only fit back into the plug in one direction. So you have to just figure that out when you're putting it back in. So you can't plug it in wrong. Relays themselves need power. And in this instance, that was what 85 will do. And I typically bring my power in on a low amperage type source as like a keyed on ignition. So when I turn my key on, that will send power to the relay. 30 is the dedicated power that the relay needs. So the relay needs dedicated power from a 12 volt source. Typically, that's going to be the battery. And pin 87 will send power out to your accessory. In today's example, that will be a spotlight. And then the relay itself also needs grounded. So that's what this explains. And let me go over how the rocker switch works. So here in front of us is how I wrote up the instructions to explain what the pins on the back of a rocker switch do. So the rocker switch and relay work together. And the rocker switch in simple terms is broken onto the left side and the right side. So pins one, three, and four are left side. Pins two and five are right side. And this is just simply the back of the rocker switch on paper. The left side, number one, is a ground. Three is power to the rocker switch. Four is power to the relay and upper rocker switch light. On the right side, number two is ground. Five is power to rocker switch and the lower rocker switch light. So the, low, the rocker switch has two lights on it. So when it's key turned on, the lower light will light up, indicating that the rocker switch has power to it. So when you're driving around, you can see your rocker switch. And then when you flip the rocker switch on, an upper light will illuminate here and then your accessory will get power. So let me show you how I wire my rocker switches. So there's two different ways you can use to, for a rocker switch. You can have it light up when you turn your key on or you can just have it light up all the time when power's on. I prefer to have my rocker switch not drawing any power until I turn a key on. So to illuminate the locker switch when I turn the key on, we're going to um, follow these instructions. So simply one and two, since they're grounds, they can be tied together. And I'll show you that in another illustration. So you jumper these together, and then this will go to a ground. And then what we have here is five and three are powered. So five brings power in from the keyed on ignition in my case. So when the key's turned on, it sends power to this, which will light up the lower light. And it'll also jump this to three to send power there. And then when I flip the rocker switch to on, that will then in turn send power to number four, which does two things. It'll light up the top light on the rocker switch and it'll send power to your accessory. So these are the instructions for this. Okay, so let me show you how I have, I have jumper switch made up here. So I'll ground, 
and ground. Again, this is pins one and two. And then this would go back to the dedicated ground on the chassis of the vehicle I'm working on. And then for the power side, I'm going to put power to pin number five and pin number three. And this would go back to my keyed on power source. Okay, so here's the simplified overview. And right after this, I'll do the demonstration. So again, I jumpered one and two together as grounds. I jumpered five and three together, powered from the key, number four and number 85 to the relay. Number 30 comes from the dedicated battery power. Number 87 would go out to my accessory. And 86 goes to any ground, again, typically to the chassis. Okay, so here's a simplified end result. I'm using a battery just for simplification. Normally, I would take all my grounds back to the chassis of the vehicle. For this video, I'm just using the ground off the battery. And uh, also the same for the power source. Normally, I would come off the key power source off of a fuse or a dedicated line for that. And then the main power I would take back to the battery. But so this is what I have here. I have a simulated switch here that will simulate turning the key on. So once the key is turned on, that will send power to the rocker switch. And then the rocker switch bottom light will illuminate, showing that there's power to the switch. Once I flip the switch, that will send power to the relay. The relay will then transfer that power to the main accessory. In this case, it's just a spotlight. So flipping the switch on, I now have a lighted indicator. So I would be driving around, I could see that lit. Then when I want to turn the accessory on, I flip the switch and the accessory comes on. So that's the end result. Hopefully this helps somebody understand rocker switches and relays. Make your life a little bit easier if uh, wiring one up for yourself.